I am so happy to be catching up today with one of my favorite people. She's the voice many of you wake up to every morning on KSL News Radio. The co-host of KSL Radio's Morning News, Amanda Dixon, is in our studio. And with her came this burst of sunshine on this cold day. You always just brighten us up. Good oh, to have you, my friend. So much fun to be here. Your colleague, your co-host, Brian Martin, stopped by last week, a yeah. few days ago. And he noted that it's been three years since you two started working yes. together. I can't believe it. Has that gone fast? It seems like yesterday. Time flies. Yes. Time flies. We were having a blast. He mentioned the early alarm clock too, which I know you've been answering to a lot longer than oh. he has. Coming up, it's like 28 years. 28 years. It's crazy. That's amazing. And That's I love amazing. it. amazing. And you love it. And we love it because you're so good at it. Thank I know you. you're asked this all the time, but how do you function with that 3 a.m. alarm clock oh. as a busy mom on the go? Well, you know, I think the early alarm is almost easier, Brooke, because it doesn't give you a chance to think about it. The alarm rings and you go. You don't have time to think, what could I call in soon? <laughs> could I maybe get somebody else to do it for me? There's no debate there. You just have to, you can't, you can't hit the snooze button. Yeah. That's cruel to a spouse yes. to hit the snooze button at, at 2.30. Yeah. So you just get up and you go right into the shower and the day begins before you know it. And then I try and get home by noon or one before the kids get home from school and get some things done, you right, know. Right. I one a couple of weeks ago, I did something over at Junior Achievement. You know, they have that JA City. Yes, yes. And I didn't have to get up until 6.30. <gasps> and? It was harder. <laughs> oh, really? Because I thought, well, I can sleep till 6.45. You had that little window, that wiggle room. And I was annoyed by that. <laughs> I thought 6.30 <laughs> was harder than 2.30. Oh, is that funny? Yes. Well, let me ask you another common question I know that you're frequently asked, if you'll allow me to do so. Sure. You've covered some really tender headlines the last week in particular. Yes. The last few years, it seems like those headlines have been a little harder. How do you balance, Amanda? You're a normally happy, upbeat, sunshine-driven yeah. person. How do you balance that with the stories that you're having to report on and share with all of us? Not well. It's hard, isn't it? I, I am a, I'm an emotional person, as you know, Brooke. And when we have stories about children being hurt, let alone being killed, I, um, I don't handle it well. I try. I think when I was younger, I handled it better. Mm. I felt more separation mm. between the job and myself personally. Real life. I felt like I could read the news and feel separated. Yeah. But in the last, I don't know, maybe five years, I feel it. Yeah. And so if there were some facts, some details of that story that I just couldn't, I couldn't separate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there was one day that I, I got emotional on the air and I just would, I would point at Brian. Yeah, yeah, your turn. So Just, oh. just read until I can stop Pull it together. Uh, being emotional. I did hear you say this was a couple of weeks ago on the air. It was fairly recently. You, you made the comment, I think, in answer to a viewer question similar to this. You said, we have to remember that the stories we report on are rare. They're oh, the yes. anomaly, right? They're not the, co that's why they're news. And we have to tell ourselves that, yes. that these are, that humankind is good most of the time. I wish I, I wish I could say that every day. Yeah. Because I do think sometimes when we listen to the news, we get the false impression that the world is dangerous. Right. And that people are bad and people are, that there are more criminals than there are. But yes, that's it exactly. The news is the news because it is the exception to the rule. And I want to tell people that 99% of, of what happens in the world is good and that most people go home tonight and take care of their children. But we report on this because it is the exception to the rule. I do think if you, if you watch and listen to a lot of news, you get a false impression that the world is more dangerous than right. it is. Right. And we need to remember that, don't we? Yes, yes, that's mm -hmm. a good reminder. On a much lighter note, there's a happy exception, exceptional headline happening yeah. right now, the Olympics. Oh, I love the Olympics. And you have oh. such good, oh. good memories, I know, of 2002. What stands out to you in your mind when you think of the Olympics and that, that memorable time here in Salt Lake? Oh, I loved everything. I loved every moment. I, I had one special experience that I got to have. I got to, I got to host the pre-show of the closing ceremonies. And by that, I guess I mean, I got to go out in the middle, in the middle of the stadium. All these people. All those people right before the real show began. Yeah. And my job was to teach the people in the stadium what to do during the closing ceremony. So <laughs> when you come to the closing ceremony, they give you a number of little props. Sure, they sure. give you, um, you know, flashlights and sparklers, and they gave you little Italian flags. Ah. Because at the end of the ceremony, it was us handing the flag over to Torino. Italy, yeah, Torino. Yeah, yeah. And so my job was to go out there and say, now, 
When this happens, wave your flag. <laughs> when this happens, you know, point your flashlight so that the, the stadium would light up. And it was just, it was a thrill, bro. I, even when I went back, I had a little tent like the celebrities did. My tent said, Amanda Dixon and Christina Aguilera dancers. <laughs> I thought, that's Look so funny. Don't confuse the two. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, just to, just to be anywhere close oh, to the people. I love it. It was a thrill. I hope we get them again. Uh, fingers crossed. We love you, Amanda. Thank, Thank you so much. I, I love you puppy. too. We're out of time with that oh, new puppy. Oh, I love my puppy. Name? Molly. Molly. Miss the Molly. Puppy. Miss Mo There's Miss Molly. Oh, love she's, her. look at her. She's so yummy. What a fur baby. Miss Molly. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you we for having me. We love you. Stop me. by again soon. I'd love to. All right, Amanda. Thank you.